talk about digestive system. Digestive system has two types. We have incomplete and complete digestive system. When we say incomplete, these organisms only has one opening on its digestive tract. And complete digestive system has two openings on its digestive tract, like us, human, and some animals. The process of breaking down food into absorbable forms is called digestion, and it has two types. We have mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion is the physical breaking down of food into smaller pieces, while chemical digestion uses enzymes and acids to break down the food that we eat. Digestion involves four processes. Guess the process. Fill in the blanks with the correct letter to get the correct answer. You have one minute to answer this. Time is up. The first process involved in digestion is Yes, that's correct. Ingestion. That's the taking in of food. Second is the uptaking of nutrients, meaning you have to get the nutrients from the food that you eat. And that is what we call the absorption. Third, the body will now use those absorbed nutrients in order to perform certain activities, and that is assimilation. Finally, the removal of waste. The primary function of the digestive system are the breakdown of food called digestion and absorption of nutrients. Digestion begins in the mouth where the teeth break the food into smaller particles during mastication. Salivary gland located near the oral cavity secretes saliva which begins chemical digestion and keeps the food moist. As we swallow the food, the soft palate locks the upper pharynx to prevent food from entering the nasal cavity and multiple voluntary muscles in the face, neck, and tongue contract, pushing the food particles through the pharynx. The food passes over the epiglottis, which prevents food entry into the respiratory system. And then, it enters the esophagus that connects pharynx to the stomach. The one-way movement of food mass, now called the bolus, is controlled by wave-like involuntary muscle contractions, known as peristalsis. The bolus now enters the stomach, a sac-like muscular organ where churning and mixing takes place. Stomach cells secrete hydrochloric acid and other enzymes that chemically digest the bolus. Muscular contraction in the stomach further breaks down the bolus and mix it with stomach secretions to form a thick liquid called chyme. Chyme exits the stomach through the pyloric sphincter and enters the small intestine, the major site of nutrient absorption. The small intestine consists of three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Bile from the liver and digestive enzymes from pancreas enter into the duodenum to aid in digestion. Absorbed nutrients pass from the lumen of the small intestine into the blood. Chyme not absorbed in the small intestine enters the large intestine, also known as the colon. Here, water and salt are absorbed, and chyme is converted into feces. The rectum stores the feces until nerve stimulation initiates the defecation, resulting in elimination through the anus.